innocent Americans. Could potentially be a violent threat. The plot to force martial law on law-abiding citizens. Ten giant prison sectors. Fill up hundreds of concentration camps with people like you and me. They're designed to hold whole families. And pull the trigger with a disease pandemic. Literal mega death. It's not a fantasy. The wheels are in motion. And politicians are passing laws to steal our freedoms and protect the elite. Get ready because you're going to lose your freedoms. I hereby declare this to be an unlawful assembly. It's that simple. And them making me safe and locking me up. Conspiracy theorizing should be banned altogether. No guidelines. No oversight. The government facility that's gathering secrets on all of us. The police state prison camp. Built for you and me. It's ripe for abuse. Absolutely. With very intrusive powers that the law enforcement have to gather information about members of the public, you have almost no or weak oversight and no way for the public to get any kind of accountability over these issues. That, that, that sounds like a recipe for disaster. Open the door! We're going to bust it down! Yes, they are targeting groups because of their political beliefs. They're going to they're gonna bust you for thinking. They're here. The thought police. They run their name through their databases. The government takes what they think is a pattern or a profile, and they apply that to you. You might be spied on. Somebody might suggest that I could be a terrorist because I'm involved with this group. Concentration camps for you and your family. American concentration camps for you and your family. I think all hope is lost. These guys sound out of control. A secret government funded by elite power brokers in the top echelon of Washington. They're really command and control centers for the concentration camps that are being expanded all over the nation. Prisons that are for entire families similar to the Nazi concentration camps. Or similar to when they interned American Japanese citizens in World War II. Declare martial law and round up anyone deemed a national security threat. It's documented. Presidents have been taking away our rights whenever they want. They're, they're corralled up over 100,000 of them were interned for years. The executive branch is now claiming the ability to use its military authority to execute the laws here at home. Railroad tracks, just like Nazi Germany. Designed to hold whole families. Hell of a place to raise a family. For plagues and literal mega death. Waiting to take in all but the elite. Just like the Japanese internment camps of the 1940s. I have a feeling that it's going to be people like you and me. Terminal Island. Isolated. Just like Alcatraz. The police moved in. And the cops weren't happy to see Daniel. That's not good. And everything is documented. Plastic coffin. So each one of those is a separate coffin. You can fit four dead bodies per plastic coffin. It's basically a giant body bag. Tens of thousands of coffins. Who in the hell has a pre-need for this many coffins? Unless they're planning a massacre. These detention centers and camps are run by FEMA, ready to round us up. FEMA already has the country divided into ten regions. These are sitting here waiting for the implement of martial law. Secret government documents that we've gotten from where they admit that they've got stockpiles for the biological pandemic. This is the perfect pretext to bring in martial law using the fear generated by a pandemic. The feds would trigger a nationwide outbreak of deadly disease. The bodies would pile up, the military would pile in, and the concentration camp gates would open. Hundreds of thousands or even millions dead, plagues and literal megadeath. Megadeath. All the outbreaks and vaccinations and how simple it would be for the elites to put the plan into action. Use a disease outbreak and martial law to clear the way for concentration camps. Ready to take in American citizens who don't toe the line. Our congressmen think we need prison camps for ordinary citizens. Our nation has slid down the slippery slope to a possible police state. And the children are probably very happy. 
I have fear of my government, not green monsters and machines from outer space. Maybe next time we can talk some sense into our leaders before they sign on the dotted line. But it already is happening. And we've already allowed our elected officials to break all kinds of laws designed to protect you and me. They've got the military ready to take over. Who knows what list you're on now? Talk about the fear factor. I've said it before and I'll say it now. I'd rather face the dangers than lose my freedom. This is conspiracy theory. This is conspiracy theory. This is conspiracy theory.